finally got round to the last of the torches that I've had sent in and this time it's the Jetbeam TH10R that I'm going to be taking a look at. The company sent this in for review along with the head torch which I looked at a while back. This is one of their newer style tactical torches, though it's a more compact type 18650 battery. So we start off with the user manual and your warranty card. I'm going to put that on screen later on. And this is the neoprene holster. Pretty much the same that we've seen with previous jet beam torches. Nothing wrong with it. Perfectly decent quality. All of the additional items are inside the holster. And this includes a Type A to Type C cable. This cable has another Type A port. That's because you can use it as a power bank and plug straight into that. There's your wrist strap, which is Jetbeam branded. Quick shot showing the torch inside the holster. I think it's worthwhile including that because some people will find it useful. And onto the torch itself now. This is about average for an 18650 compact tactical style torch. Just over 13 centimeters in length. We've got that typical Jetbeam gunmetal type coloring, which I think is quite attractive. There is your Type C charging port on the back. Cover on that is about average, perhaps slightly better it does stay in place reasonably well. And we have quite a strong single clip which is already pre-installed on the torch. There you can see the switch and on this sample it doesn't stand up on its own. It's just slightly too proud but I know they do vary a bit sometimes. You can see the mode and set has been marked into the finish on the paddle switch. And this switch is just a single switch but you can hit it either side doesn't make any difference does exactly the same thing it does have a distinctive click though so you will feel that when you're pressing it onto the stainless steel bezel that is black it does have a slight edge on it though i wouldn't call it sharp and you can unscrew that if you want to got a medium texturing on the reflector so that sort of spreads the light around a bit more just unscrew the base or tail cap there you can see your spring there's the square cut threads and you can see they are clear. If you want to do a manual lockout, you can do about a half turn on that and will do the job. This is the supplied 18650 battery and it's quite a high one, 3500 milliamp hour. They usually come in around 3400 in testing. And this one does have the Type-C charging port as well. There is a reason for that, which I'll get onto later on. There's another spring on the inside, so that means to say that we can use the unprotected or flat top batteries straight into this, no problems at all. Don't have to worry about spacers or anything like that, and that's a definite advantage. On the head, you'll notice there is a small lens there with the LED. That's for your battery level check, and that flashes one to four times. Onto the user interface, half press gives you a momentary, full press for your on and off. When it's on, hit the paddle switch and that cycles through your three power levels. Hit either side, makes no difference, it's all the same switch. Onto the turbo, when it's on, a double press will take you to that, and then a single press takes you back to the last level. Here's your strobe mode, so you have a momentary strobe if you want, or if you hold it in for longer, then it will stay on the strobe mode. The strobe is one of the reasons it's a tactical style torch, because you always have access to that, whether it's on or off and the SOS, triple press when it's on, and that will take you to that. Single press will take you back to the last power level. Very simple UI, I think most people are gonna be quite happy with that overall. User manual's up there on screen if you wanna have a look through that. In torch charging is around about 1.5 amps, it's just slightly slower if you charge with the battery directly. And in case you're wondering, the reason for that Type-C charging port on the battery is the TH10 TAC. That doesn't have a charging port. Just thought I'd mention that in case you're browsing around and you see that. They are identical according to Jetbeam. Measured the Kelvins at about 6,500. Moving on to the beam shots now. After the unicorn, I've got the Jetbeam hunting torch, which is the WL20. That has a slightly cooler tint to it and a bit more focus in the beam. The beam on the TH10R is a bit more spread out. The texturing on the reflector is obviously spreading the light around a bit more than a smooth one. Personally, I like to have a little bit more range, but I do quite like the beam off this. It does have quite a pleasant tint to it. It's not too cool. Typical with this LED, there is a bit of a tint shift on it. 
although overall I find it quite pleasant for a cool white emitter. Have a look through some more beam shots and I'll give you my summary at the end of the video. you a few of my thoughts now on the jet beam personally i am quite happy with most areas on this torch i like the beam pattern on it it does have a nice finishing very simple ui decent charging speeds high capacity battery the most obvious drawback with this torch and it's definitely going to annoy some people is the lack of moonlight or firefly mode that could be a showstopper for some people it's really going to depend how you're using a torch some people it will bother them, other people it won't, but personally I think they really should have included that. That wraps it up for me on this video. Hope that was useful to you. Do let me know what you think in the comments section and I'll be making my next video coming up very soon.